Hello, everybody. Welcome to a very special stream. Hey, Resto. Thank yes. You streaming live. Let Resto know that we are streaming live. Thanks, Cap. Chris Nirvana Tool here, and we are going to be building our deck as promised. So, as part of my Extra Life charity drive, thank you, Sanji, for the gifted sub. Uh, we are allowing for anyone who has donated at least $10 to myself, or if you donated to Jared as well, um, <laughs> uh, you were able to pick a card that will be included in my deck for December Ancients, which starts this week, folks, so get ready. <laughs> I'm not going to be playtesting this deck. We're just going to be going into it, so it should be a good time, but uh, as promised, I want to build the deck live right here. I have in up on the screen right down there. Um, some current picks of what people have selected. Um, I've gotten some doozies. Uh, I've taken a look at the deck. I think it's going to be a fun deck. Uh, but I think you guys can make it a little bit more fun. Uh, so if you want, you can still donate to me, uh, during this stream. So let me get it up on Nightbot. Come on, Nightbot, help us out. There you go. Uh, so you can still make donations as we're going along here. Uh, if you donate $10... You can make me play any card that you name into my deck as I'm building it. So, please, again, everything goes towards exactly hashtag save the babies. Everything goes towards extra life. That is kind of part of the way, part of the reason we're doing this. The other part is fun because I think this is going to be hilarious. But um, we're going to dive right into it. So, first, I also need to clarify as well the um, the rules of the donations was that. The second most, the second highest donation would get to pick my faction, and the highest donor would get to pick my warlord. And they were encouraged to collaborate and encouraged to work together to come to a decision on what that warlord would be. Uh, so Graham was the uh, number two donor with a uh, hundred dollars. Thank you very much, Graham. Very much appreciate it. Uh, and he had selected Nothrog. Uh, and then the warlord went to Sanji, and he picked Micaiah. There may have been some betrayal, which is very hilarious between Sanji and Graham. Apparently, Graham picked Nothrog, assuming Sanji would pick Krun. And Sanji was like, yeah, I'm going to go somewhere else. And he went Micaiah. So a little bit of a blind side on Graham, but... Uh, I appreciate that I have more than one class to work with. I would have totally rocked Grun, but uh, I, I think Makaya, you know, good old goat man is, is, is just as fun. Um, let me actually uh, get Makaya up while we talk. Um, so, yeah, this is the deck that we're going to be building. Uh, I can already tell you just taking a, a quick look. This is just as straightforward as you get. You are a Nothrog Warlord, you are level 5, and you are two classes, Fighter Wizard. That's that, that that's the gist of this Warlord. Um, I have won a tournament before with this Warlord. It was Gen Con Cube, but uh, it still counts as a W. So, uh, I am a fan of this Warlord. Uh, I think it'll be fun. And having two classes gives us a lot more options in terms of what cards we can put into the deck. Um, I already started kind of collating all the picks and everything. This, th this deck is north of 150 cards already, and it's, it, it's going to be getting bigger. <laughs> so this should be fun. <laughs> I think we will be safe on, uh, the breakdown of, you know, making sure that it is a legal deck, but if, uh, that is required, I, I, I will, um, you know, make sure that it is balanced and legal. Um, and luckily, Graham, you don't have to do a deck check for this one. You can just take a look at the, uh, <laughs> take a look at this video and, and, and uh, confirm that the, uh, deck is legal. So, all right, I'm going to go through everybody's picks and, and what we're going to do is, uh, currently I'm on the Accord lands. I'll be building the deck here and then we'll export it into untap. Uh, before I went live, untap was not very cooperative with me for some reason. Um, I saw people actually playing games, but for me, like, it wouldn't even load. So, uh, I, I played around with it. I think I got it working, but if it's not working, it's not my fault. I'm sorry. Uh, so, we're going to see. This is getting posted to the Saga site, so alphabetical by card, please. 
Okay, yes. Um, we can do that for you, Grim. Don't worry. It won't be. It, it's 150 cards, but most of them are going to be times three. Uh, so let, 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 let's dive right into this bad boy. So, oh, and, and first of all, of course, you know, got to show the little extra life donation page, as, as I showed you all in Nightbot. Uh, just click donate. Select. Let's, let's show everybody. It's not going to work. It might be my connection that's not working. Something or, or something with Chrome. Okay, cool. There we go. You can just click other and then just boop, $10. Show your name and then uh, add a message to th this is public. Just to say what the card is. Uh, some of you have done some fun things. Some of you have been very gracious in, in, in what your card pick is. But um, so far, I've raised $780 for Extra Life. Um, so pretty stoked about that. The team itself uh, was... I want to say three or four grand. I want to say four. Uh, I can probably take a look right now and just see. Assuming that this page is going to load. Us. There we go. Yeah, team one organized play. Here we go. Four hundred. Well, four thousand one hundred seventy-six dollars. So we are close to our team goal of five grand. Uh, but good old Rogue Panda Art just crushing it. Absolutely. Look at good old Mike Harrington. He pops in here now and then. Chris Hodge. We just call him PJ. Don't don't even worry about his real name. And, and this guy's a piece of shit, so don't worry about that. But uh, these are the guys that helped us raise some money for their, our local children's specialized hospital. So it's totally fine. All right, let's go into decks. So I have this organized. I should update it. Sorry. Um, everybody has picked except for one, which we'll get to later. Uh, so starting us off, first card in the deck. I'm going to give it to Rodrigo who, with, with, with his donation. His words, as you can see right here, for whatever warlord those fine lads choose, you may play the corresponding epic fix action from Campaign Edition, which, since it's not dog, is Lord of B Baraxton. Uh, and and I, I was very excited to see some of that. So thank you. <laughs> thank you, Rodrigo. This is going to be fun. I think I can pull it off with the cards that are going to be coming. Why are you so slow? It's, it's the Accord Land. All right. My computer's just really bad. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> but here we go. Lord of Baraxton. Level 1 class. It's an epic, so I can only have one of these, unfortunately. I would totally run three, but there we go. Adding it in. Um, Nothark World only. Spend order. If your Nothark's have killed five or more opposing characters with melee strikes this turn... Attach this card to your Warlord. While it is attached, your Nothark's have plus three attack bonus... I will pull this off. I promise you if I draw this. Oh, my God. Here we go. Should have been crud. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll do. Cr I'll tell you what, guys. I'll, I'll do crun the next Ancients. Or maybe not next Ancients, but... Because I, I have a few ideas for what I want to do next. I will play crun in 2024. How about that? I will play... Hit I promise you I will play the OG pig face crun. Because there's an achievement for a six-man crun. I will go for that. Don't worry. We'll make it happen. So there you go, Graham. You're not totally backstabbed. But uh, it, it, <laughs> Sagey, Sagey betraying you just makes this so much more fun. Uh, so Lord of Baraxton is in. Next we got, you know him, you love him, Mr. Robert Midgley, who who donated $40. Some, oh, Graham gifting out a sub. Thank you. See, I, I give... And I receive. That's how that works out. It's called bribery or exchange of goods, one or the other. Um, speaking of exchange of goods, uh, good old Robert Midgley donated a total of forty dollars. <laughs> yeah, no Long John Silver, Zach. Get out of here. Uh, but uh, Robert Midgley had donated, I want to say, thirty dollars at first, and then I, I got another ten out of him uh, during a game day. There, I think it was. Uh, hey, if I do this. You know, uh, it, it, I think it was like literally like he had a D20. He's like, if I roll a 20, um, if I roll a 20, you owe me 10 bucks. If not, I'm donating it to, to you an extra life or something like that. You know, a typical midge statement that happens all the time. He used to say that when he owned Dexton Feldark, he'd be like, if I roll a 20, you get Dexton. And then he has rolled 20s multiple times. And then then hilarity ensues of people like chasing him around hey, the store. So streaming live. there we go. So Robert Midgley has chosen four cards. We got ambush before the battle. Let's let, let's pull these up it's one a at a time. Blood, this stupid hat with a big blood, this stupid Ooh, I got a game hat. All right, cool. Let's go with this hat first. There we go. Make it happen. Make it happen, Captain. 
Well, that wasn't Captain. That was Angie. But it'll do. All right. So first things first. Ambush before the battle. This is a a Darmy staple for him. Why is everything disappearing on my screen? Thank you. He has used this in a Darmy. Yes, it is cool. I thought free hat. Used it in a Darmy just to. Uh, Gap, say illegal board state. Go away. That is not a hat. It says it's not a hat. And it's not a legal board state. It is totally legal. I gained it and I lost it. It works. Uh, ambush before the battle is something that Midge used in a Um to great extent. And it, he loves this. Um, there might be some history in terms of Midge saying he discovered this card and is the inventor. Bobby Zabrowski talks about how he may have suggested this, but nobody remembers that. So all the credit goes to Robert Midgley. So uh, in true fashion, let's add this in. The next one, and we're going to add times three. So <laughs> Forge Cake has saved the receipts. He is not happy. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, power word kill for the next one. Uh, Micaiah can play this. I don't know if I'm going to have too many other wizards that can, but hopefully some of the picks will work that out. Uh, after targeted with a melee strike, DC 20 or take two wounds. So if I have this in my hand, maybe I'll, I'll try and bait somebody who's going to try and anticipate me and then I'll power kill them. Because they're like, yeah, no, it's like three out of 200 cards. It'll be fine. So that one goes in. Powered kill is also a meme. Just like playing against mage, it's just like, you know, whenever you're swinging a warlord in the front rank, power kill for game. Uh, so there's that. Uh, oh, he gave me those other ones. Why am I switching to the wrong screens? Let's go with a very generous one. Exhaustion. Good in every scenario. <laughs> I don't know why my images take so long to load. But uh, let's add that bad boy in. Boop. No, needs no introduction. Then we have, this is a spell that he has had fun with. Uh, ooh, Silas Zin, yeah, let's get that in here. Nope, good old Zin's attention. So hopefully I have a wizard. Well, I already have my warlord who can spend to do this first action. So, so at least my warlord can do something. Um, but as long as I get an altar in there, altar can cast this. Some other wizards. Give me like an albino novice maybe. That'd be great. We'll see. So Zin's attention's in. Uh, and then that does it for Mr. Midgley. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. Okay, so uh, let me see if I can... Yeah, let me talk about this first. So next donor is uh, a good friend of mine from the uh, Game of Thrones car community, Mr. Dustin Archer. A uh, good friend of mine, a fellow Storm Bro, uh, for those who might know what that is. Uh, he donated $40. And told him a little bit of what I'm doing. He doesn't know anything about Warlord. So I was like, what are the, what are, what are the AGOT equivalent of what cards you would pick? And then I'll find what that, whatever that would be in Warlord. So I was like, he's like, oh, I don't know. And I'm like, well, what are your favorite cards? Start there. And he's like, oh, yeah, Valamor Gorlis, which is, let me pull those up. Thrones DB, I think it's still a site. There we go. This is a good site, by the way. Um, I really wish we had something like this for uh, Warlord, but one day. So, Battle of more Gorlis. Here we go. Let me get this up for y'all. So, <laughs> Battle of more Gorlis is a plot card. So this, uh, everybody, th the way you play this game is, there's, there's a, every player plays a plot to begin each turn. So this is an iconic one. It's literally just kill all characters in play. That, that That's what this does. It's just, I'm going to reset the board. <laughs> um, so what is the closest equivalent to that? I did consult Mr. Graham over here, fellow Game of Thrones player, so he understands it. And, and he had the same suggestion that I had. And Bobby has hit the nail on the head. So for that, we are going Armageddon. We are going to put this in the deck. I have a wizard. It is my warlord. He will play this. <coughs> and we're putting three of this in. So this could be really silly. Um, I just hope there's a situation where the opposing warlord has two wounds on them. And then I just Armageddon for the win. That would just be hilarious. Um, so I really want that in. Uh, next card that he named 
for Game of Thrones is Wyman Manderley. So those who don't know anything about Game of Thrones, Wyman is a uh, is a very fat man. Uh, ooh, there's two of them. Oh, there's redesigns. They redesigned it. Who knows what this community does anymore? Um, so this guy, he just has an action where he can sacrifice a character. You can see big old fat guy loves to eat food. So very fitting that he picked it for me. Um, but after one or more of his characters are sacrificed or killed, you can stand him up. So it basically is ready him. So the equivalent of that, of like kill one of your characters to ready, there's a few that are like that. Um, COVID tree razor. Yeah, you kill him to move. Alter is one that can do that. Uh, Graham. So uh, here's the thing. Graham was also saying alter and COVID. Uh, I'm going to give a little bit of spoiler. Um, Grease could be a good one. That is wounding and, and, and ready. I, I do like that, actually. Um, the other option that Graham suggested would be Ring of Piercing. So, chat, what do you think? I, I like Bobby's suggest. Ooh, Gift of Life. That's also a good one. All right, guys, you got three options now. You got Grease, you got Ring of Piercing, and you got Gift of Life. Let Say in the chat which one you think best fits this card. And, and we'll go from there. Uh, you will have 100 plus. I will have 200 plus cards, Rodrigo. <laughs> Uh, don't worry about that. <laughs> it was 150 as of last night, I think. It was, like, maybe, like, 155. It's definitely more. But it was a, it was a pretty okay mix, I would say. The ring itself, it's the 1 out of 200 if I draw it. It, it could be used turn 1, depending. Hopefully I have movement. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm choking and dying on this. All right, chat. You, no one's gonna say anything. No one's gonna vote for it. All right, the next person who says something, that's the one I pick. How about that? Grease. You know what? You you you, you, said, you both said it. So there it is. Grease is going to be the character that we pick. So there we go. Let's do it up. Grease. No, I spelled it wrong. G-R-E-I-E. -E. There he is. My man. I I, I do agree, especially because it's a character. Um, he is a wizard, which I'm going to very much enjoy and need. So I, I like this. Let's add him in. Boom. Grease is in. <laughs> Next up, uh, Rob Stark. So let's show Rob Stark. People might know him. But uh, I'm going to assume that you meant core Rob Stark there, uh, Graham. So there's multiple versions of Rob Stark. But this is guy. He, he's got renown, which means he, he gains some bonus points whenever he wins battles. But uh, after a Stark character you control is sacrificed or killed, stand each character you control. So very similar. I think I got confused on that one. was remembering Army Rob. Oh, you, you the, the Army Rob? Which one were you thinking? Hold on. Not another King Rob's hold. So this one right here, this guy is what you were thinking? Um, This little guy? Well, he's not little. He's kind of big. But uh, maybe Graham messed up. But Graham's suggestion for Rob was Fiendish Plate. Um, Which I don't really know. Again, like as he wins challenges, he gets plus one. See, during, he gets plus one strength for each loyal character he controls so you know you gain charges so i can kind of see that um and then he has an ability that basically removes somebody from a challenge so like if like two guys are trying to to win a challenge he basically says no you go home um so that's what he's going with calamity steel that could be a commanding presence i, I like that too i think both of those are, are really good Ones. So yeah, let, let's go with King Rob over here. This is the other one was kind of close to Manderley. So I think I think the core one was uh, War Mace. That's also a good one. I think you guys got some good options here. So Ablong's plate. Oh, what is that? I don't even remember. Let's see. Ablong's plate. Mercenary. Oh, it's this one. Okay. After this fighter is targeted with a range strike, spend and stunned. Equipped armor. The strike is a critical failure. Oh, not the. Oh, you want the prism cloak? Okay. All right. I do remember that. 
prism cloak. Level 6 wizard. After a character performs a melee strike targeting a character, stun the attacker. Any additional strikes in this are lost. Yeah, I, I think that, that fits King Rob for sure. So he did remove someone from a challenge. He, he, this one, it's like, yeah, nope, stun you, and I'm not having to worry about it. You lose the rest of your attacks. So I think this is the winner. When, when Bobby and Graham agree, you know peace is possible. So let's get this in. They love each other. They just don't admit it. It's funny. All right. So Ablung's Prism Cloak. <laughs> There we go. Uh, last but not least is Arya Stark. We're not even going to have a debate here because I, I do believe Graham hit the nail on the head with this one. So let me just show. Oh, my God. There's so many Arya's. Show. Th this was one of the best characters in Game of Thrones. So look at it. See, Thrones, com Thrones community asked me to come back like once every three months. Somebody messaged me to do that. And sorry, guys. I'm not going to. I'm retired. I, I am Warlord through and through. But, um... This card was, like, so good. <laughs> it's, when she enters play, um, she basically puts a duplicate, which is basically like an extra hit point, like a bonus hit point um, that, you know, when, char when a character would die, they just leave. But if they have a duplicate on themselves, it's basically like an extra life. Um, so that's what this one does. It takes the top card off your deck. Sanction's got a good suggestion with Summon Swarm. Like, not knowing what Arya Stark does and just seeing it, and you're just going boom. Like, I, I do think that is a good option. Uh, Rodrigo Firol, I know, is in one of the other picks. Someone graciously gave that to me, so we're okay with that one. Um, I do like Summon Swarm, but the one that... <laughs> Shane, there we go, Bobby. Uh, let's go with the, the pick that Graham was suggesting. Mason Towel. Everyone's like, what is this character? Level 3 Nothrog Trader. He's got one strike, so just like the one icon of Arya over here with, you know, she has two strength, but, you know, one icon. Uh, react before Mason is suffering wounds from a melee or range strike. Discard a card from your hand to reduce the wounds by one. Um, I do like this. Um, I think this encompasses the, the fact of a character having extra ones. I think it's a character that will never, ever see play otherwise. <laughs> Merc, there we go. <laughs> He's removing wounds. That's, it's different than what Arya does. Uh, I do like what everyone's thinking. Like, improvised shield and mana shield, like, kind of fit in that. I, I do see that. But I, I think I was kind of sold before this option, guys. I, I, I appreciate the, the great suggestions. But, uh, you know, you may have another chance about that, with that. We'll see. But I think Mason Towel is the pick here. I, I agree with Graham. Mirror image. Oh, come on now. <laughs> I played that once. It didn't work out for me. <laughs> All righty. So those would be Dustin's picks. I can close Thrones DB. Hopefully their cookies don't know that I was looking at Thrones cards. Um, and, and we never. I, but I'm sure I'll have a few messages saying, come back and play. I'm like, no. Sorry, guys. Retirement. It's sweet. I, I play as many games as I did when I was retired. No, I don't. I played too, way too much Thrones. Anyway. Let's go to the the godfather of our community, Mr. Don Tsuchiyama, who uh, almost forgot about this, messaged me a little earlier today and was kind of like, uh, Zant, it's going from, the, there's a uh, player committee that is running it. Um, so that is currently what's going on. Bigger in Europe than uh, in the States. But um, Don Tsuchiyama, not from Europe, is from the States. Uh, but he almost... Forgot about this. Sent me a message. Oh, how long do I have to guess this? I'm like, well, I'm streaming tonight, Don. I'm, I'm, I'm going to need you to throw some at me. Um, and he started throwing a few suggestions out there that were kind of cool. Um, I don't think he, he, he realized that I said my warlord was Micaiah, which I did tell him. Um, and it was trying to give me, like, <laughs> non... Or, like, non-fighter wizard things. Like, trying to give me Epiphany's first kiss. Which would have been funny. Uh, but... Eventually, I was kind of like, he, he was like, hold on, let me go goofier. And the ones that he landed on, because I was like, oh, pick ones that you like, too. Like, just make sure that it's good with that. 
He's definitely a class act for sure. I do remember when he went to Minnesota. It was because he was posted like, "Yep, I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna take some challenges." Like, Don, you ever been to Minnesota? Don's a hockey guy. He will love being in Minnesota, and I'm sure he had a good time. I'm sure you guys treated him very well. Um, you've already perfected Piffany's first kiss. That's right. Iron Hall is where that goes. Uh, but he started off with Whizwer, so he remembers 4E. There you go. Good old Don. Wiz. So this will be a character I'll be able to drop in. After I roll initiative, reveal a level X action card. Hopefully it's Armageddon. <laughs> and get plus X attack AC and skill. A and the card's classes. Yo, so like if I have Armageddon and then I have like... Oh, I don't think... If I have a spell book, Dragon's Blood, and a figure... And he's next to a figure to wonder. Wiz work in Armageddon. That's the dream. So, I like it. We're going to make it happen. So, we're going to add in Whizwer. Um, Dark Heart. Kalinian. Why do I keep going to the wrong one? All right, you know what? I'm closing out my donation one. If you guys donate, Larry appears on the screen. I am not joking. We have that set up. Um, but let's go to Dark Heart. Dark Heart. Dark Heart of Kilnian. This is definitely a Sanji card, too. So, it's a Gracchus staple, for sure. I think Sanji always tries to do something with this. Probably from just playing games of Gracchus. That's probably where Sanji got it. But, uh, giving me Scribe and being able to Scribe some of those those Armageddon's from the Discord pile. If I'm level 6. Uh, I do like this. I think it's a solid card. So, three of it going in. One, two, three. Did I add in? Yep. Cool. And then, last but not least. I, I like when I got... So many classless actions. You all hey, were Rizzo, so kind. Thank you streaming live. We got distrust. Now this could be a blowout one. I like this, so everyone knows. Kill a uh, equal lower level character of opposite alignment from their warlord. I love it. Good old Don. He did not distrust me. He took good care of me. So appreciate that, Don. Thank you very much. We'll get to we'll, we'll get to this one a little later. Uh, starting with Wes, so, well, not starting. We're going we're gonna to move on to Wes. Um, Wes, right now, we have meat at the end. That's what it is. He did try and, part, you know, petition for it to be Dedalia, his most beloved card ever. Unfortunately, I still have to adhere to banned and restricted, even though... It is going to be a 200-card deck that is for charity. That does not excuse, exclude me from the rules. So I have to, unfortunately, go with Meet at the End to help thin out this monstrosity of a deck and, and hopefully give me more. So it adds a little consistency to the inconsistentness. <laughs> so that's fun. Um, Sanji will, will, will do, we'll do Sanji in a little bit too. Sanji's got his own spreadsheet. <laughs> Don't worry. We're good. You know what? Yeah, let's do Sanji. Screw it. I'm already here. So Sanji is, is a wonderful human being. Besides being, uh, our moderator over here, very generous with extra life has always donated a lot. Um, and, and to thank him, he got to pick 40 cards. He also got a, a statue of David sent to him. From one of our members. That is not an exaggeration. Sanji can show you pictures. Um, but we uh, we treat Sanji well because he treats us well. So he picked the Warlord. And then he's like, how would I build this Warlord? What were three decks I can build for this Warlord? Let me give him the cards to build three different decks in one. <laughs> and that's what Sanji did. So he has thrown... All right, I, I might... I don't think this is going to work where I double tab it. No, it's not going to work. I was like, I'm going to have to switch back and forth a lot. So first, we're going core at. I'm going to go, I'm going to breeze through these because otherwise I will be on here for a while. So everyone remembers good old Big Bubby. We've gotten and three of him in. He's in. Next, we have, I already remember, it's Serene, who I always struggle with. To search for for some reason because of this little apostrophe. But getting that in there. Add the missing card. No, I can't. Somebody has to add it for me. We'll get to that. I cannot just add it myself. Well, maybe I could, but I don't want to. And then the Retarius is next. So let's get the big boy in. I love how the Medusa and Lord cards just randomly show up now. 
Thanks, Josh. That made th that made a lot of sense with this update. The update's great, except for Medusa Lord showing up as a standard. Ah, uh, COVID Tree Razor. So he's giving us a lot of big boys. Here we go. I think meat is doubled with me and Wes. Oh, it is. Okay, well we'll see. I don't. I didn't think so. Uh, Senurus. Because what I did was I kind of ran. I put your cards into uh, a cord lens last night, and, and then I went and saw and just added three of everything. I was like, all right, let me see what's greater than three. And I saw, oh, Jackals was six, Torn was six, it was uh, two, and I'm like, okay, that that don't work. But oh, good old Senurus. I like him. I was gonna make sure I don't just accidentally click more. But oh, here we go. We got some spice coming up with these next ones. I like it. So it starts off good, and then we get good old time stop. What's the point of being a big old with? Oh, please tell me <laughs> the image for time stop's not gonna load. <laughs> oh, here it comes. It's coming. Why is it so slow? Did they stop time? Is that why it's not loading? Come on. <laughs> Hopefully you all are seeing this, and it's not just me, like, dropping f frames. I don't know why it's taking forever to load. Uh, no, we were not allowed to pick Regin. Get out of here, Rodrigo. That is not... <laughs> Nobody would see any of my 200 cards. Uh, I'd have to rely on my opponents pitying me. That is not happening. Uh, but good old time stop. What's the point of being a big old wizard if you're not going to time stop? So that's going in times three. It's going to help my whiz work. I swear. Uh, then we got this. We got Black Journal. So, okay, cool. You know, Time Stop, Black Journal. You know, th this is this is a, a, a deck, you know. You know, where Vorpal Blade, you put on Glyph of Fate, you Time Stop when you have a Black Journal, so you're a Necromancer, and then you Fell Blow it and roll a 20 and kill them. Sanji did not give me Fell Blow. So currently I have a black journal, and I have zero necromancer spells, <laughs> but I can become a necromancer. So that is currently the situation. If any of you would like to donate a, a, a necromancer synergy, I would appreciate it. Uh, it doesn't matter which one. Fellblow would be preferred. If not Fellblow, I'm sure there's some really bad ones that we've pulled out of packs that you all can give. <laughs> uh, Vorpal Blade is good. So, okay, cool. The image is loading. Why is it so slow today, guys? I don't know. My computer's not that old. Glyph of Fate is next, so we all know that. Glyph. So, see, and these are cards I can use. Nodwick? Man, if Don gave me Epiphany with Nodwick, I could have had it discarded and then just brought it back because it's a henchman. That would have been funny. Can only add one of these bad boys because of the restricted list. Uh, Wanda Negation. Let's get that in there. Look at that. Seems you giving me meta cards. Wand of Neg. I know it's going to be funny when I draw like two Wand Negations opening hand and I'm like, why? Deck. Did you do that? Ooh, Paradigm Shift. I like that one. He can't give me Gravity Flux, but he can give me Paradigm Shift. Yes, you did get yelled at, Sanji. Uh, boom. And then it. It, it did go in, right? Yep. Paradigm shift is in. Uh, Dragon Blood. There we go. That's how we're going to be able to cast the Time Stop and the Armageddon. Oh, I just typed in Dragon. Uh, scrolling down. Look at all these Dragon cards that we can do, guys. It's Dragon's Blood. So I can make a wizard plus two levels for casting spells. I like it. Two, three. Doesn't do anything else, but if I draw some other cards with it. Look at that. We're already up to 73. Um... Potion of Blurring. That's just generally good. Put that on a character. Stun them up. Pop it. Stun them up to uh, the front rank and survive for a turn. That's probably what I needed for most games. So, uh, here we go. As you all are like, running like top tier decks. Just running me through. Um, Destroyer's Armor. I mean, you did give me Senoris, so I do need Destroyer's Armor. I like that. Destroy. Here we go. The only artificer. One, two, three. Got it. In. Uh, Loric. Loric is in there. I now have level one 
characters that I can start playing. Torin. Got to have the one Torin, guys. Come on. So I can discard Time Stop to go look at more cards. Bam. Good old Torin Yeskar. He's up here. Uh, Sanji, we're on card number 18 for Sanji. Bithgrid. More level ones. If my screen loaded faster, I would be through this faster. Uh, card Greg. There we go. Give me some more card draw. I got 200 cards I'm going to have to draw, guys. Come on. There we go. Good old card Greg. One, two, three. Uh, Sethusk. That's definitely a times three. I think I could do everything times three. Except for some. Some are going to be like time 15. Uh, Sethusk. One, two, three. Then Akvuk. I am very happy to see Akvuk. I'm a little in. Let's see. Akvuk. There we go. You got to put the apostrophe in there if you want Akvuk. But I remember when this card was released. We're like, oh my god, this is the best starting character ever. No, it's not, because the best starting character ever is Timok, because he can kill brine fiends, and I have started Timok before. It's great. Uh, Altar, there it is. Okay, I'm starting to get level twos. Altar. Don't worry, I'll play the banquet version. So, I got that as an achievement, but the altar goes in. Phantasm. That is my win condition from the cube with Micaiah. The, the way I, I won a lot of my games was Phantasm out my one copy of Karachuk of the front rank and, and, and swing at the opposing warlord. So I only get one of my uh, little Phantasms here. But uh, I do like it. Where is it? Okay, cool. There it is. Wanted to make sure it got in. Uh, Sir Can. I like that. It's a character. Sir Ken. He certainly can. Let's go. One, two, three. Wield Pikes. Sanji likes level ones. Wheel. I'm just going to put wheel. Wield Pikes. There they are. Bam. One, two, three. Oh, look at this. I tried to sneak in an extra car, Greg. See? Sometimes these clicks just double register. It's very weird. Uh, fire roll and jackals. So we'll get those two in now. Let's get fire roll. Everyone knows this guy. When we get to the light and shadow box, I hope we see some more of him. One, two, three. He's in. Jackals of Morn. Um, I did find... He, a 10th anniversary Jackals of Morn in a top loader that Woodrow had given to me and said give it away on stream and I never did. So I will eventually give that away to you all. Uh, but saying it now just so I'm bound by a legal contract to do so. But a Jackals will be given away to somebody at some point. Uh, trade Roots. So I only get one of these because it's restricted. But uh, this will be good to help search out some of these items. It is good, isn't it? Like, I, I feel like I'm going to have like 300-something cards or whatever it may be. The number's going up as I say it. Um, but I think there will be playable cards I will draw, which is more than I was expecting. I was expecting to put in some stunned characters, honestly. But I think even you all were like, that just is, is mean. But, uh, yeah, let's give Kanag times three. I probably only need... I don't need extras of him in my deck, but I think I'm not going to have enough characters. There's Gunda. Okay. We, we, we got a formidable starting army. So, good old G-Man up here. One, two, three. Uh, so, here we go. 32, we got Slow March. Almost through Sanji's cards. Slow March. Like that. For all those level fives I have. Or for my Warlord, if I want to just hurry things up. Back Alley Tavern. Okay. Back Alley... Map of the back alleys. No, I can't do that. Back alley tavern. One, two, three. Then figurine of wonder and power. So there we go. That's how you get more characters, guys. Uh, figurine. I can't spell. A P. 
And there we go. One, two, three for the fighter one. And then... Wonder. Oh, I could have just did W and got both. Oh, look at that. One, two, three for the wizard one. Showing you guys those little guys. You might remember them. They're not classless, don't worry. They uh, have been... Have they ever seen the errata? All right. Spell book. There we go. Spell book. There we go. I like it. Armageddon is on the table. Then bracers of ogre power and gloves of mercy, just so I do extra wounds. Good old boop. Where are they? Where, where are the boop? There's the boop. B-O-O-P. Two, three. Adding that in. Gloves of mercy. There it is. I like that. Uh, Ring of Vorn and King's Lady are the last cards. Okay, so Sanji gave me movement. <laughs> Ring of Vorn. <laughs> One, two, three. Let's do the King's Lady. There it is. In all of its dwarven glory. So three of that go in. Just making sure everything's good. Yep, everything looks good. So, once again, big thank you to Sanji for <laughs> giving me good cards. Uh, so, I appreciate that, Sanji. Thank you very much. Speaking of good cards, let's go on to Yotaka Fish. He has four other Nothrogs that Sanji has not picked that uh, will be going to mine. So, the first one is the Envoy of Soraya. So, Envoy is the love from... The Land of the Rising Sun. Let's see. On voice or I? He gave me a little bit of Chosen, which I like. Oh, no, wait. No, she's a Deverin. Oh, I thought she was Chosen, not Rock. Ah. He, he bestowed some Deverinian on me. Did meat get doubled? I walk away. No, meat did not get doubled. You did not give me meat at the end. You gave me Back Alley Tavern, though. Um, I don't think I have some treasures. Stanji did not specify that the King's Lady is a treasure, so I cannot run that. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I laugh, I, like, almost die. I probably should just do the treasure version. I think King's Lady, of the ones that he gave me, it's, King's Lady is the only one that's, like, the treasure one. Like, the only possible treasure. I don't think Spellbook is treasure. I don't think Black Journal is treasure. So, yeah. Okay. Well, either way, Envoy coming on in. We're going to make it happen. There it is. One, two, three. Uh, next up, Bahia the Fiend. There we go. I have answers to a Dharmi. We like it. We love it. We have more wizards. <laughs> Let's add it in. Only one because you are epic. Uh, next is Darak. It's kind of like just a funny way of saying Derek. Uh, but Darak, good old... Uh, Fellow unorganized play member John Wojcik's name on there. He was very unhappy that he did not get to design any ounce of this card, but it has his name on it, um, which I love. Again, more betrayal. Uh, Arn betrayed him. But he is a epic hero, so we only get one. Uh, and then Reg. <laughs> well, I have two heroes now, thanks to him. And now I get a guy... Who likes being next to Nothrock heroes? But I'm going to get three of him, so there's going to be more of him than there are heroes. So I like that. But uh, he gets an extra strike and does more. He's kind of... You know, I need level threes, so it's fine. One, two, three. Reg is in. All right, so thank you very much, Yotaka. I appreciate it. Going next to fellow streamer Wyvern. Uh, he has given... He was talking about giving me Supremus... But then, obviously, I think he realized how bad that was. But he's like, I need a dragon card. And so he went nice and picked Dragon's Horde. So, very useful no matter what the deck. Uh, it's a very key part of his stream where you can donate cards to the Horde. So, very uh, fitting for him. Eventually, he will be back streaming once he figures out what the internet is. Apparently, they don't have it in his part of Minnesota. Um, which is very unfortunate, but you get some VODs from him, so that's good. So, hoping you get back soon, buddy. I don't know why Twitch sucks. I drop frames all the time now, um, but luckily, 
streams look okay. Or either that or I'm still talking to myself um, and no one's answering. It could be either or, but Dragon's Horde is represented. Then we have Graham, number two. So he had 10 picks and he was like, how many common blades and how many footman's pikes do I get per pick? And I said, you only get three per pick. So you can't be like, all right, cool. One of my picks is 150 common blades. Could not do that. <laughs> so he spent most of his uh, picks on these items. So I get 15 common blades, 12 footman's pikes, and three fine hilted sabers, which is a lot of items. So when I saw all of Graham's picks and I saw that he was going Nothrog, I thought for sure I was getting Scrim Splindlestein or whatever his name is. The, the the Jewish Nothrog uh, assassin. So, Scrim, right? Because he has, like, has... Oh, it's Rindle Spleen. Either way, that sounds like a Jewish last name. <laughs> By, like, look at them. He is ready for Shabbos. He, he's got his head covered. You can't see the, the Kipa over his head. But uh, I thought for sure I was getting this. But Sanji picked Micaiah. Because I was like, Sanji loves rogue assassins. Like, come on. But, Sorry. We, we got to work hard for our footman's bike. We, we, we have to trade routes them. Uh, so, come on. There we go. So, starting off with foot. We'll do footman's bikes first because I think I got 12 of these. So, plus one attack for each other footman's bike in the rank. Uh, after this character is targeted with a melee strike, spend the pike to score a steed equipped by... I'm going to kill some steeds. I like it. All right. So, we got to add 12 of this. I think... Uh, how many did I click? 10. All right. Two more. That goes in, and then let's go with Common Blade. There we go. It does kind of the same thing, except while it has plus six attacker hider, higher, I do uh, additional wounds. So this should be, if I could pull this off, that'd be great. Too bad. Wait, that's only three. I gotta go to 15. Common Blade 13. Why am I always too short? Yeah, I know. There's going to be so many Common Blades. Um, imagine I don't draw a Common Blade the whole tournament. What would you do, Graham, if I never draw a Common Blade? Like, it could happen. Oh, and then uh, three Fine Hilted Saber. Fine Hilted Saber. I need Well Supplied. That's what I need. That would be good. So that I can put all these items on. So if I have to fill out my deck, I, I I might be going well supplied. We'll see. But I don't know why this is blurry either. It's like the images got worse. All right. But fine health is saber is in. Yep. So that does it for all the current donations. So let's take a look at the deck we got. Uh, scrolling up over here. So there are 37 actions. We have 71 characters, and we have 79 items. So a total of 187 cards. And so technically, this is a legal deck. Um, <laughs> it is not heavy on characters at all, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, let's see, 71... And let's see, 79 and 37. So that means 106 versus 71. So we need like 20, we need like 35 more characters <laughs> if we want to have a nice split. But I do have the figurines, which is six more. So that's not bad. We're only 19 away, which is only about as many as it can. So the only other donation that I have here that qualified is Gabvac. That is my lovely wife, who is already gone to bed. She is not going to stay up for the stream. She is pregnant, which is very lovely, but that means she goes. She gets very tired very fast. Uh, so that means that she is not here for what I would have done, uh, which is I would have been like pulling up some random cards and be like, hey, which ones do you think are cute? Or, 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 or have her say something and then do that. So I am going to take some of her picks towards helping me fix my deck. But if anybody would just happen to impersonate her, 
through some means and select a card, that would count as her selecting a card, right? So it's up to you savvy li- viewers to, to, to figure out how to do that. But if Gab is telling me how to select a card, I will have no choice but to oblige by it. So it's up to you guys to figure that out. So the first one, I don't know if you guys are going to be savvy enough to get the hints. Um, but the first one I'm going to add, I got to add some more characters, right? I do want well supplied though. So let's see. Let's go to Nothrog characters. No, I I don't think any of you got my hint. You all are naming cards. You have to do it in a certain way. If you're going to want it to work. You have to think about it, guys. Uh, Nothrog character. Character type. What is this? All these extra 5e bullshits. All right. Nothrog character types. All right. So there's a lot of Nothrog characters. I don't know how many there are per. Does anyone remember how many there are per page? Is it 50? Or is it a hundred? It might be a hundred. I think it's a hundred. So we have four hundred potential Nothra characters, right? So uh, we're gonna have to dice roller. Let's let's Google some dice rolling. Is Grimsteel a treasure? Grimsteel is a treasure. All right, so we're gonna roll a D four first. So what I roll? A one. All right, so on page one. Um, let's say I'm going to do, wait, I'm going to do five D 20, two, three, four, five. Let's roll it up. The 76 card on page one. All right, cool. So let's say, so we're going to count back 199, eight, 89, 88, 87, 86, 85, 84, 83, 82, 81, 80, 80, 79, 78, 77, and 76. We're getting flame spitters. Let's go. Let's make this happen. All righty. Flame spitter is what we got. Gab, say illegal board state. Go away. There we go. Adding it in. <laughs> so, what are we going to add in next, folks? What are we going to add in next? I don't know how much more obvious I could be, folks. <laughs> I think you all are just not paying attention and I'm talking to myself here. <laughs> Play the damn alert with a message that says what card I should pick. <laughs> That's how you got it. So she's already picked one, which is Flame Spitter. Now, pick, no, come on. I, I need nine more cards, guys. Come on. Oh, look at that. Shane with the donation summoning the Laughing Larry. I like that. So, Shane, we, we, we got to take a look at what you got. Um, did you? I, I'm assuming you left a comment there like, like a good person. Uh, extra life. Let's go say. Oh, you donated for Senville. All right. He's in, my man. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. You are awesome. You're getting Senville in there. All right. No. My, how do I spell his name? Senville. Oh, that's how I do it. Okay. Oh, he's going to be good. He can do two weapons. Let's make this happen. I like this. This is a good one. He's in. So good old Shane. Let's add you in here. Dragon Bane. So there you go. Bam, boom, and just, you know, it's got to be official here. And so Gab has picked Flame Spitter. Does anyone want to pick another card that is one of the nine? All you have to do is point out and leave a move with that, that alert, and that's what does it. You get to pick, because that's my wife. She's pointing out illegal board states. No? Damn, you all are terrible. <laughs> Except for Shane. Shane's awesome. Either that or you all are out of channel points already? Is that what it is? All right. 
I guess I want to go dice roll again. Um, so let's see what we got for the next one. Either that or you all just like the dice roller. Could be that. All right. Get out of here. D4. Rolling it up. Page three of the Nothrox. Let's do that. Uh, so page... Oh, I gotta go back. Uh, clear. Let's go with... Don't give us the choice. What, you don't have the choice to point out an illegal board state? It's better getting rid of... Okay, fine. Random it is. I, I, I like living life on the edge, too. So we'll make it happen. Uh, character. Let's search. Boom. Okay, so we're going to page three. All right, and then let's uh, let's just roll this up. Boom. Sixty-eight. Damn it! Why are we getting these high numbers? Look at these twenties I'm rolling. <laughs> it's the wrong time to roll twenties. All right, so assuming I'm gonna land on a warlord. That's gonna be funny. Oh man, I saw the terror in there. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. So then that's thirty. Thirty one. Oh, tactician mudfleck. All right, we can't pick that. Um but we got Savone's secrets after it's may not maneuver. All right, you know what? We're, we're, we're going to go... We're, we're, well, it could be Savone Secrets or it could be Takis. That's what we'll do. I'll give you guys chat. We're, which one are we going with? Savone Secrets or Takis? Let me know. Supremus is not an option. <laughs> it's true. I'm not rolling for mercenaries. I think some of these rolls will do for mercenaries too. <laughs> but what are we doing? All right, we're going we're gonna, to... Uh, Tacus. All right, cool. It's in. One, two, three. That's pick number two. So we already got Flame Spinner. Now we got Tacus. All right. We got eight more to go. Do we want to go a mercenary character now? Maybe we get that supremacy that um that that Xant is looking for. Yeah, let's do let's do a Merc. Let's make this fun. Uh, let's exclude. Warlords and Medusan Lords and Dragon Lords. No, if I land on an Overlord, that's fine. Um, so we're gonna search how many pages are there. There's at least five. Oh, how many more though? Is it just five? Okay, cool. It's just five. All right, so rolling a d6, uh, and ignoring a six. All right, two. So we're gonna go two. And number 43. All right. So page two. 43 is basically down the middle. Yeah, say illegal board state. Go away. There we go. We got the motivator. He figured it out. All right. I will be there in a sec. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Gap, say illegal board 41, Go away. 42, 43. We got fiendlings. Okay. <laughs> Can only target stun characters with melee strikes. All fiendlings are in. That that's a good pick. Oh, I got some fiend links. Fiend links. All right, I heard I heard Gab yeah, making another pick. Uh, there we go, Captain. You figured it out, my man. All right, so we got that. We got the motivator. I don't think I have enough ranks to play him, and we got Wyvern. <laughs> Let's get him in there. <laughs> I'll have to be tapping back some uh. I have to tap back some characters. We gotta say, all right, let's get those in there. Motivator, let's go for it. Uh, clear, motivator. There it is. May not equip items or I can't even put a common blade on him, my man. 
Jason character characters adjacent to one or more stun the motivated to get the order one turn form melee strike. Spend order once per turn target any lower level spent character adjacent to motivated. Ready the target. All right. We have been motivated. One, two, three. And now Gab says it, so Wyvern it is. Oh no, I missed. Wyvern is in here. Oh, I, I saw him. There he is. So if I have Dragon's Blood and Spellbook and I draw Phantasm, I can search out Wyvern. So we already have a possibility of it. So that's good. It, it, it is possible. <laughs> so that is that. One, two, three, four, five. All right, cool. We got five more picks. Chat, anyone else want to play any more alerts, make some more picks? Otherwise, we're going random. Let's see. Let's see what we got. There you go. I could even do the figurine. Yep, that's another way to do it. So we'll make it happen. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's stay on Mercs, right? Let's do it. D6. Gab, say illegal board state. Go away. Oh, we got bludgeon now. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll, I'll go to bludgeon in a sec. So we got number two. And the total? Is 57. Okay. So if fiendlings, we know fiendlings were 43. But uh, let's get bludgeon up in here. So boom. Bludgeon's in. Just a solid good character. One, two, three. Could win a game all by himself. All right. How many characters are we at now? We are at 90 characters out of 206 cards. Okay. We're, we're getting good. That's true. We got to have a dwarf. That, 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 that's, a good, that's a good pick, bud. <laughs> got to represent the, the, the dwarven folk. Uh, so where are we going? Mercenary character. No. Character ex. I clicked exclude warlords and medusin lords, and I saw some ghouls pop up, which is not how this should work. Come on, Josh. I'm going to do agents. No, I, I can't do that. I got to go by what I was before. So search two. So we know fiendlings was 43, right? So fiendlings are 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 50. Do I have to go to 57? All right. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57 is Garrog. I like it. Let's go. He's a good character. He's got two HP. He's almost, he's better than Kinnag. And he can protect some of my big, huge Nothrogs. I like this. One, two, three. I am so excited about Garrog. He's in. There we go. So Garrog is in. <coughs> so I'm gonna I, I'm gonna pick one because I, I I do want it. Uh, I want well supplied. What is the point of having all these items if I can't play it right? If I can't search them out and put them all on a bunch of characters, what is the point? So we got three more picks after this. So going well supplied. Well supplied. There we go. Level five. Top ten cards, one item on each character. If I hit all ten, uh, like ten of Footman's Pikes or, or Common Blades, it's like Exodia. I just win. Graham has made it its own thing now. So, 93 characters, 40 actions, 79 items. So, you're getting there. Alright, we gotta go three more characters. Say that you can't play other Warlord in your deck anymore. I I, I, I know. That'd be fun for this. I can see that being a, a future event where, like, that rule gets lifted, but then I'm sure, like, Graham will be like, no, let's not do that. We have to ban X, Y, and Z. But, um, come on, just just let broken stuff happen. It's fine. Let Havilin and Lord Winter be together. <laughs> that's, a, that's a very fair pairing right there. <coughs> so, okay, we gotta go with a few more characters. Um, 
So we have five. We have three. Th- you know, we have one through five pretty well covered. I have nobody that's five. Um, I need to be able to play Wyvern just in case, right? But how can I do that? I think I'm going to pick a very goofy one. Just because it's very old school way of doing it. Nah. No, let's do. Let's do a fun. Let's do a more usable way. Just because to give us a fighting chance. Let's go war wagon. Uh, war wagon. One, two, three. It's in. Jartik. Oh, is that the level six guy? Jartik. I like this. He's another phantasm target. He's unique, so I can play three of him. Let's make it happen. Yes! Inflicts additional wound mass. Kill a character in in this rank to move forward. Alrighty. My man is in. Times three. Alright, jar tick. Alright, so we covered our abilities to play Wyvern. Um, so that should be it. We only got one left, folks. What does the chat think? What should be one more? <laughs> if it's a an epic character or like a, a restricted character, it will be uh, exactly a hundred characters out of a, a two hundred nineteen card deck. A monk. We need. We do need a. Monk. I mean, we got Garog. Garog's a monk. Or is that the actual character? Is there a character named Monk that I don't know of? Ah, uh, Monk. Monkey's paw. Could be severed. So that I have my one necromancer spell. Because <laughs> I don't have fell blow yet. <laughs> Could do that. There's got to be goofier. No, w- w- let's find a, a really goofy necromancer spell. Just so I can get some use out of the black journal. Severed's a little too good, right? Uh, Actually, so let's go type action. And in the text, it has to say necromancer. So, we got breath of ice. Target lower level character in your discard pile. Shuffle them into your deck. That's pretty stupid. It's necromancer only, too. Uh, uh, consume from within. That's the goofy way of severed. Contagion. That's an okay card. Uh, and it has multi-use. A level 2 wizard can just spend for it. Curse of Broken Spire. This is so blurry. Why? I don't know why. Um, oh! Okay, it's just because of my zoom. Um, but... DC equals his caster's skill plus 5 if he's a necromancer. Uh, if the character is a summoner, you can search. I can probably do that. Dance of Bones? So it's your discard pile for up to three undead characters? Nope, can't do that. Um, Dance of Death. Necromancers play this as a wizard spell. Uh, all play After all players pass at the end of turn, you may remove one wound from each of your characters in the front rank. At the beginning of the next turn, any characters with a wound may not ready. Oh, any characters with a wound may not ready. Dance of Death with Gundas? I just need to have a level three cleric to do it or or draw the black journal. That could be funny. Uh, death is but a door. Embrace eternal in tomb. Fell blow. Foul blight. Gift of life. Um, target a spent or stunned wizard in play. Kill this character to ready the target wizard. If the this character is a necromancer, he or she is not killed, but suffers a wound said. Grave robbing, la- last breath, no rest. Uh, rattle the bones. Move the three characters from your discard pile from the game until the end of the turn. Your characters get a bonus to attack equal to twice the number of characters removed. Uh, return to us, sever to flesh. Shallow graze, soul siphon, stolen breath. Strength of Death, we've seen that pop up on on stream. I could do Strength of Death just because it is ones we've been opening up. Uh, Sunder the Soul. 
uh, Vampiric, Venom Vines, Wheel of Death, Winter Shadow, Wither of Bloom, and Words of Woe. All right, folks. What are you thinking? Where where should we go with the goofy necromancer spell? Words of Woe is pretty funny. Um, Strength of Death is, is is a meme for the packs. Um, then there's like good stuff. I mean, Fell Blow does fit within this. Ah, right, you know what? Fine. I, I gotta do this the right way, right? Let's do it. Um. Oh wait, can I not? Oh, there it is. Uh, y'all didn't want to do this, but. Gab's Gab, got me say legal board state. Go away. We're going fell blow, baby. Let's get it in here. One, two, three. Alrighty. So I think we're good here. Because we have 99 characters, 221 cards, and there's six of those. So technically 105 out of 221. Which isn't that bad. Where's the geometric calculator? Geometric calculator. Right, I think this is it. No. Is this it? No, that's not the one I want. Damn it, I have it on my phone. There's there's one, and I know that Gracchus uses it all the time. Nope, this ain't it. All right, cool. We're not even going to figure it out. Um, so, there's still like a 50-50 a, a chance I draw with this. I don't think I necessarily need to pump it up because if we were to let's see what are we at we are at 99 we are at what 79 items and 43 so we have 112 so we would need to get to 112 characters so we'd have to get 13 more characters um if we want to break even which would get us to 130, 234 card deck. 234. All right. Yeah, let's pick 13 random characters. Um, let's go Nothrogs. Let's go character type. Um, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? I'm drawing a blank. Character. All righty. Let's see, first one is a one. Page one. Wait, wait, let's see, let's just roll like this, here we go. So page three, number 62. Why do we keep getting middle rolls? Come on, no. I want, I want a lower or a high roll. 50. <laughs> 58, come on. 52, this is rigged. 64. I don't trust it. This random number generator is just giving me the average. 80? Okay, that was pretty high. I think we'll go 80. And number three. I didn't see what it was. All right, so let's go page. Wait, let's search. Let's go page three. And let's go to 80. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Conflagration. Why do I keep getting so many sieges? All right, we're gonna add three of those. So ten more characters. Dust to dust would be good, um, but it could be a pain. To pick a I might explode my computer when I open that bad boy up. Um. I will gift a sub to remove Fellblow. <laughs> Why would you do that? That's just me. <laughs> we can't do that where you're donating to remove car cards out of here. Uh, give me a better... Name me a, 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 a cooler character. And then I'll, I'll, I'll change that out for Fellblow. Like, pick, throw one out, Graham, that you were like, yes, okay, cool. Like, and it doesn't have, I'm not looking for top tier good. I'm looking for funny, like memorable. Pick a Nothrog character. It could be a Merc character as well. Uh, one that I can play. If you have a memorable suggestion, I will replace it, that from Felba. Till then, we're going to roll this again. We, get, no, we got 65. Why? 
73. Okay. Page 173. I can do that. Or did we already do that? I feel like that's very familiar. I don't like this dice roller. Let's see. Page 1. 73 now. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. I get Fenris. I must spend a wizard to bring him into play. He's got 3 HP. Kill a character in your army to give Fenris 3 attack until the end of turn. Oh, I like this. This is, this is a fun one. Two, three. Let's add it in. All right. Graham says Garrick. Oh, <laughs> I know exactly who that is. All righty. Let's get rid of Felbo. <laughs> let's go with Garrick. Oh, wait. Hold on. No, I missed. Let's go with Farm Far. Let's make that happen. All right, Garrick it is. Where is he? Did we just see him? While he's on this page. There he is. After initiative rolls, you may choose an opposing player. You each reveal a card simultaneously. The other character's card is higher. He gains control of it. Let's make it happen. All right, so I got 108 out of 227. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, you all got some other ones. Let's see. Arbrus, Imsana, and Egrart. Okay, w l let's see what we got there. Arbrus, I, I, him I know. Arbrus, he's in here. I don't even have to type anything. Ooh, there we go. I like him. You know what? Let's say I have one of him. Arbrus will go in. Imsana, I, I, rem I can picture the art. I can't tell you for the life of me what she does. Oh, it's Imsara. All right. That's 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 a good suggestion, though. I like this. Imsana. Damage type is physical. Like, oh, come on, 5e. E, stop this. Uh, kill one of your Nothrog within two ranks and target a character. Move to the Nothrog's position, and the target is considered two additional characters. Determining, wait, what? Kill one of your Nothrogs within two ranks and target a character. Move, the, move to the Nothrog. Oh, I just... I kill them and move them up. Oh, man. That's kind of funny. It's a level five wizard. One, two, three. And she's not unique. There's so many of her. Let's do, all right. Let's go look at, uh, let's look at Egg over here. Who do we got? E G Egg Rart. Okay. He can equip two weapons. All right. You already have my attention. I like him. One, two, three. All right. So 234. And I have 115. So I think we're good. Because, yep, it would be 230, 234, six characters. Yo, what's going on? Can you got the cards? Yeah, there we go. I love it, baby. Welcome. Enjoy. Caton, for everyone who remembers, he won the loot box. So I am happy. Enjoy that. Build your meta, bud. So hopefully those cards will help you out with that. So, I think we got our deck here, folks. 234 cards. So, let's see what this monstrosity can do. Awesome. Sounds good, man. Love to hear that. All right. What is this? Okay, cool. You all can't see. It's like opening up other things. So, uh, let's get... All right. You'd be happy to know, Graham, that uh, when, when you uh, export this, it exports it alphabetically. <laughs> Doesn't break it down by type. <laughs> so, we. I don't know how you're going to want this, Graham, but we'll have to figure it out. <coughs> oh, yeah, I think untap will do it, right? Yeah, so. Well, untap is crashed right now, so I've kind of... Had some of my plans foiled here. Um, just bear with me one second, folks. I'm trying to get untap working and then I'll switch to it. But um, has anyone had any problems with untap tonight or is it just me? 
Are you all having any issues logging? Like mine's just like not even loading. It says like taking a little longer than usual. Please wait. Will you test it today? I I'm going to do some practice draws. I I'm, I'm not going to play a full game, but I, I do want to see what some of these draws are going to look like. Because we also have to pick who we're going to, this who who's going to be the starting army. Um, okay, come on, untap. I'm not doing anything. Like, let me, let me check. Let's see. Okay, cool. Now it just decided to work. I like that. Create a deck. Uh, let's go, Micaiah Extra Life. I will eventually get this up for you folks. My computer is doing something in the background, and I can't tell what. All right, it's working fine for you guys. Yeah, for some reason, Untap hates me. I'm going to have to clear some stuff. All right, let me paste this deck. Uh, oh, I can just... Here, let's do this. There we go. Okay, cool. We're all back. Uh, let's paste the deck. Let's import. It has not exploded, but I can hear my fans revving up. Th these things aren't going to load. Oh, come on. Everything's Torrin now. That's all I keep saying is Torrin. Oh, you saw Torrin. See? Look at that. He's the only one that's loaded. I don't know exactly. We have beaten Gracchus. Something might be wrong with my graphics card or something like that. I don't know. But uh, we need to have Micaiah. Wherever he is. So he is going to the top. He will definitely be a starter. So we got Micaiah. We got the altar. That's right there. So that's good. Uh, Gunda will be the starter. Gunda, 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 Gunda. Bam. And then the level twos we got. I think the only other one is Kanag. If I'm not mistaken. I don't think we got any other level twos. Like we do have Baha'i of the Fiend. But I don't want to start that. With. Uh, game one. I, I would pivot to that. Oh let's see. I'm just making sure that I didn't miss anything else. Fifth Grid's level one. Arbor's Akvuk. Fenris, no. Fiendlings don't work. Um, Garrog is not a... Not, yeah, I think it's just Kanag. All right. Kanag it is. Down it goes. Oh, Takis! That's who we want. Thank you. I knew there was another character. who just couldn't think of it. All right, let's, let's keep Kanag in here to draw it. Let's go put Takis in because I want to be able to... Uh, to play ambush before the battle if I draw it. So we'll get one out of here. Let's go Takus. And let's add deck to play. No, don't don't offer me some promotion. You're not a considerate contrix. You you're just some kind of spam bot. Go away. Um alrighty. So this should be done. Uh, deck options, come on. We, we gotta make the cover image, Micaiah. There it is. Save. Come on. The deck is so big it ain't loaded. Oh man, I really wanna know why untap is not working for me. Thank you, moderator. And you banned them. There you go. Sanji with the ban hammer. Banning the bot. So, um... Uh, let's see what I can do here. Um... Let's... Let's not allow spectators and Let's go solo. Um... Which I don't think matters. Let's not enable mirror play. Starting it up. Entering the game. Oh. We're going to search for Micaiah. There it is. It's still not loading. See, guys? I don't know what's going on with this thing. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's just because the deck is so big. <laughs> it could be that. 
Yeah, they're not gonna load, are they? I'm hitting the refresh button. Let's see if that does anything. It might break it. All right, guys. This is not gonna work, but um, it is in here. I do want to do some practice draws just to kind of see how it goes, but doesn't look like Untap's gonna cooperate with me. Um, let me see if I can just like free up some memory. Maybe that'll do it. No, my GPU. It's not that bad. I don't know why you're struggling. What's going on? I'm going to my taskmaster, guys. Don't worry. What's doing shit in the background? What's taking up too much of it? Nothing weird running in the background that I can see. Anti-malware, serviceable, execute. That could be it. Stop that. End task. Operation cannot be completed. Access denied. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. The cards are foil, maybe. I love how the game exists and I'm not in it. Yeah, I don't know why my computer just sucks today. But let's go in. Enter game. Come on. Oh boy, here we go. All right, well, we got one card to load. Here we go. Cards are loaded now. We like this. Oh, no. All right. We got it. We got it. Okay. We here, folks. So this will be the starting army. Now, let's see. I'm going to shuffle. Shuffle that 228 card deck. Let's draw it. What do we got? Eventually, this will load. And we will see what an opening hand looks like. Two common blades. <laughs> we got two common blades. <laughs> the chances of that are not very high. Uh, we got Reg and Senoris and Cargreg. This is really getting Cargreg turn one. So like he goes down. Let's draw a card. And what do we got? Into a Whizwer. <laughs> Yo, I'm drawing characters. Let's go. So that's fine. I like that. All right, let's put him back. And then let's mulligan. I think I just go M. Yep, confirm mulligan. So let's see. Oh, we got COVID, Ceneval, Reg, Destroyer's Armor, and Mason Tallow. I mean, I have to tap someone back to get COVID, but it's characters. I like this. Let's do it again. Here we go. Five characters. Why am I drawing so many characters? I like it. I want to have people to play. Let's make this happen. I know, right? Can you believe that? We got Darak. We got that. Okay. Wizward's going to be feeling good next turn with uh, that. All right. If I draw getting Darak, if I get a, a spell book, I can power it kill. But, okay, let's see what else. Don't have much movement in this deck, though. There we go. We got a Footman's Pike. We got the Ambush. We got a Figurine. This is a playable hand. I know. Like, I, I think I have a fighting chance, Rodrigo. I'm not even lying. I could win a game. Oh, this, 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 there's some fuckery afoot over here. Fiendlings. Flamespinner. All right, I can't get Jartic in, though. No, I can't. So he'd be a dead card, but I do have ambush, so that's cool. I can ambush my own Jartic. All right, well, we got Serene, Wand, Ablong, Prism Cloak, Garog, Senores. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Distrust, Vorpal Blade. Okay. Can't get Jartic still in. Why do I keep getting the Figurine and, and Flame Spitter together? What is going on with this deck? All right, so this is what we have to expect. I think this is going to be playable. Exactly. I always drew playable characters. It, it, it really is Gracchus deck building character magic. 
I will never deck out ever because I have 223 cards after uh, after my opening hand. But oh 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 oh, that's not that bad of a, a brick. So if I spend the altar to Dragon's Horde, get a card. He's a bludgeon. Okay. Bludgeon gets a potion of blurring. We spend my warlord to play Fenris. I still can't get Jartek out, which is unfortunate, but. He can equip items. This pupper's got a potion of blurring. He's going up there. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I, I'm just happy that untapped side that worked, too. I don't know what happened. Um, but I did something. And now it's working again. We got movement! I can war wagon and ring of horn and get to the front with a footman's bike on. And we get extra tack. Yo, I can play Tacus. Move up the altar. Drop Garog. Drop war wagon. And then just bring the house. <laughs> that is cool. Or I can ring of horn, go up and then bring the house. Screw everything else. Makai is in the front. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But, alrighty guys, I think this is going to be a good, I, I, you know what, I'm going to have a fighting chance, which is good. So, these are all playable cards. They're goofy. They got, you know, they still have character. And not the literal character. I know, I'm coughing up a storm, guys. I'm so excited. But uh, I think this is going to be good. Uh, so, uh, with that. Let's move to the giveaway, folks. Let's do it up. Do you really think I wasn't going to be a giveaway? Have a giveaway? I know there's no opponent, so there's no reason to thank them. But I still will be giving a, a, a spin to you all, folk, over here. So I only got three packs. We're gonna do one pack, guys. That's that's what we're doing uh, at most. So we'll see. <laughs> oh man, your computer will probably burn. I don't know, man. It's running my stream. You can run on tap. What is happening with me is, is not an indication of anything. I, I think I think there had to be some kind of program in the background. Too much tabs on Chrome. I'll gotcha. <laughs> but hey, Rodrigo, if you want to play with us ever again. Either way, I, I'm glad you watch. So as long as you have fun watching, I, I'm happy. But don't be shy. Play some games. Try it out. It might be fun, man. Uh, it does work on mobile, too, if you do have that. Uh, but let me close out some things. So let me get Nightbot up for you all, making sure that works. And yep, all right, cool. Nightbot is working. So as a thank you guys for watching this out, we're going to give away some spin of the Wheel of Woodrow. Uh, if it lands on Stupid Luck or Chosen, you're going to get a pack. If it lands on something else, something else is happening. Um, we'll get to that. But if you open a pack, if it's a quality card, I will ship it right off to you. If it's a bad card, it goes to the loot box. And we're halfway to the loot box candidates. Good old Caton got confirmed that he has the cards in his possession. So happy that got there. It does happen to be last comment. So that does happen. What do you mean, boo? Who's booing? Woohooing. That, see, that's the way to do it. Thank you, Hosh. This is why you're a sir. Dragon Bane, he's just a, he doesn't have a title like sir. But, but he did donate today. So I do appreciate that. So I guess you, you you have the right to boo. Um, I know you didn't see. All right, cool. Oh, man, Forge Cake dropped off because <laughs> it has been that. Considerable, considerate Contrix. That's that spam bot is on here. All right, let me get rid of that. That is not an option. That cannot be. I cannot stand for that. But as I am bantering more and more, we're going to just roll it off before some more people fall off. So let's see what we got. It's going to Kate and... <laughs> There we go. Kayton, I don't know if you're still around, bud, but uh, let's see if you can get you back on the loot box train. Imagine that you win a second loot box. That would be something. Um, so let's see. We're going to do a little finesse. Let's see. We're going to go whoop, 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 and wee. Kayton has been on stream, and Kayton has fumbled a lot too. But let's see. Is Kayton going to fumble? Kayton going to fumble? No, he's got in the pack. He was close to fumble. It was there. All right, so we're going to give him a pack. 
Chat, give me a number, one through three. Which way are we going for Kate? There's only three packs left. So, I gotta save two other packs. Um, those other two packs I'm saving are for another stream, which I can plug. Um, this Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern, I will be covering the finals of Classy Turncoat uh, from Graham versus The Thing. So Graham is running Talib as a mercenary. And then the thing, we saw him round one against me. He's running Elf Ducat. So I will be doing the commentary for that game. Uh, so I got to save some packs for them. Uh, but no one said number one through three. Damn, chat. You all shy today. Why are you all shy? None of you care. I love you all, though. But none of you care. All right. Damn, I don't even have a D3. All right. I got to do a D2. Um... Or I do a D6 divided by two. All right, one. I rolled a one. So top pack. Done. Either that or you all can't understand me. Could be one or the other. It's like, who's doing anything on a Tuesday night right now? Come on. Let's crack the pack for Kate. What do we got? Card trick is it. Cards go down. Rare goes down. And let's see what we got. Experienced Archer. Improved Initiative. We got a Timuk. He's in the deck. We got a Holy Symbol. We got Sisarth. We got Heavy Crossbow. And we got Shot on the Run. Uncommon. We got Azareth Flamekeeper. We got Sky. And we got Rod of Resistance. We got some pretty good cards here. Sky's good. Sart's good. Timok's good. Holy Symbol is good. I could really use Holy Symbol in my deck. But I'd also need a Cleric. All right. Let's see what we got. Caton. This one's for you, bud. We got to see what you got. Shh. Sedwin Elf Hunter. <laughs> oh, man. This guy. And this is in his meme form. Where he was most commonly known as the worst rare you could pull ever. <laughs> so even when you don't fumble, Kate, and you found a way to fumble. Oh, man. Sedwin Elf Hunter. Oh, this is like, this card has like a scuffy bottom, too. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but it's all white. <laughs> it's definitely not a congratulations, Captain, that's for sure. <laughs> Sedwin Elf Hunter. Level 3 Evil Wizard. He's an elf of House Sinari. Plus 0 attack. 11 AC. 3 skill. 1 HP. Whenever Sedwin kills a good character with a melee striker action, he gains plus 1 skill permanently. Whenever Sedwin Elf, uh, whenever Sedwin kills an elf with a melee striker action, he gains plus one level and plus one skill permanently. Sedwin's level cannot exceed five using this ability. Why, oh why, was this card ever created to be so bad? Like that is just unnecessarily bad. <laughs> I don't know why they would ever do that. I know that it got, I believe it got MRP'd in 4E, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they did something to uh, improve good old Sedwin. But uh, this is the worst rare you can pull in the set. So that is definitely feeding the loot box here, guys.